Welcome back to Rocky Railway, everyone. My name is Anthony, and I am your conductor on this adventure. I'm so excited to help you have fun and learn how Jesus' power pulls us through every day. So today, we're starting off on our second day at VBS. So first of all, a, quick, a few quick reminders. Make sure that on your Zoom to put your name whenever you enter the meeting. And then if you don't have your name right now, please put it right now. Second thing. Please remember to keep your screen to keep yourself muted because if you because you, if you're talking and we can hear you you're disrupting everyone else. So please make sure to keep yourself muted. Third thing, the fun part. Make sure to grab your kit and get out the day 2 pouch which looks like this. Yours should say day 2. But make sure not to grab an uh, of the wrong kit, okay? Make sure to grab day 2. All right, so now we are going to start our day off the same way we always do. We're going to invite Miss Maria, Miss Melody, and Miss Tiara up here to dance the theme song for you guys. All right, so I need everybody to please stand up. Everybody stand up. And remember, if I don't see you dancing, I'm going to call you out in front of everyone. All right, so stand up, get loose, and let's go. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Thank you guys. That was great. That was great. So here at Rocky Railway, we're imagining what it would be like to travel by steam train through the mighty, majestic Rocky Mountains. Those mountains go way up into Canada, all the way to Canada, and they come all the way back down to New Mexico. You know, that gets me thinking. If you went up into, into the Rockies, what would you do there? Maybe some of you would like to go camping. 
maybe others of you would like to, I don't know, maybe go feed wolves. I know they have wolves in parts of the Rocky Mountains. On other times, what I, so if I were to go up to the Rocky Mountains, I would probably go hiking. Hiking is pretty cool. If you get, if, if I were to go up to the Rocky Mountains, I would go hiking. And I would go to, I would go wherever the, wherever the wildlife is. Because wildlife is pretty cool. I would go hiking just to go see the amazing wildlife that the Rocky Mountains have. And I would, my, my favorite animal are the wolves. And I would want to go see some wolves when I go hiking. But anyway, if we were all on a train heading to the Rocky Mountains, we would all have one thing in common. What would that be? It would be that we were all going in the same direction, right? Duh. Anyway, I'm sure even though we're all at home, right? Well, you guys are at home right now. And, but we still have some things in common, right? Maybe some of you guys have the same amount of siblings. Maybe otros comieron lo mismo para el desayuno. Yo me hice unos huevitos y me, y me comí un yogur. Maybe otros también comieron lo mismo. Maybe otros comieron pancakes. Maybe otros comieron unos platanitos con crema. Ok, ya me está dando hambre, so voy a parar de hablar de comida. Pero, the point is, miren, el punto es, que aunque tenemos muchas cosas en común, Dios nos hizo diferentes. Ahora, como estamos hablando de tomar un pasaje en un tren, se me vino a la mente una canción que les quería demostrar. Bueno, yo no, pero... Vamos a invitar a las chicas del ferrocarril que le enseñen una canción nueva. It's a pretty cool song because it talks about the train and how it is bound for glory. So, I'm going to invite the girls back up here and you guys are going to dance into the song. So everybody stand up, let's get loose, and let's go. preparado un lugar allí mi tren rumbo a la gloria mi tren mi tren rumbo a la gloria mi tren mi tren rumbo a la gloria mi tren mi tren rumbo a la gloria Jesús me ha preparado un lugar allí mi tren rumbo a la gloria Ahora más bajito Mi tren rumbo a la gloria Mi tren Mi tren rumbo a la gloria Mi tren Mi tren rumbo a la gloria Jesús me ha preparado un lugar allí Mi tren rumbo a la gloria That was great, guys. Thank you, thank you. You see, now, what did we talk about yesterday? Let me remember. Do you guys remember what the Bible point was yesterday? What did you guys learn? What did you guys learn? That's right. You guys learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Now, today, you guys are going to learn something else. Everywhere we go, Jesus' power pulls us through, no matter what twists and turns life has for us. Let's try something. Thank you. Imagine this balloon is you, okay? You're full of joy and gladness and good things, like desserts, 
good friends, video games, all those good things. Wait, hang on. You, you guys don't look full of joy and happy stuff. Everybody stand up and pretend you are a balloon full of joy and gladness. All right? So put your arms out and pretend you're a balloon. Now, but the sad thing is that life isn't full of all those good things like video games and desserts and friends. Sometimes we may feel sad. Our little balloon gets smaller, so we get smaller. And then some days, we may feel like there's just no hope at all. And then some days, that's when we just give up. But we can't think like that. Think of a time that you felt like that, that you were sad, empty, and hopeless, kind of like that balloon over there. But that's what makes me happy about this Bible point. Because today we learn that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Jesús no solo nos llena, Jesús no solo nos llena de cosas alegres. El poder de Jesús es más fuerte y profundo que eso. La Biblia dice, Así que sean fuertes y valientes, ustedes los que ponen su esperanza en el Señor. You know, that reminds me about something. Yesterday, we met this, this, this engineer named Cam Track. And he was having a problem with a rock slide. It was a pretty big problem. And I wonder if he was able to resolve it. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, hey, Cam. Come here. How hey. you doing? Hey, Anthony. I'm, I'm good. How are you? So what happened with that rock slide yesterday? You see, um, well, good news. We actually got all the rocks off the trail. That's great. Yeah, but the thing is that the rocks damaged the trail. And now that we can't make the deliveries and... <sighs> now that's another problem to deal with now. But I mean, it's okay. It'll get fixed eventually. But the thing is, eventually it's not okay. It's because we just need to like get these off like the trail. And then we got off the trail, and now the trail is all damaged. And I don't know. Like, it's because the thing is, do you know what we're like delivering? Um, a super secret, top secret invention. Wait, no. <gasps> They're delivering the cure to the virus. Wait, even better, a top secret cookie dessert. That's next month. That's oh, not this one. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, okay. But we're delivering M&M's. Like the candy the, M&M's. The candy. Look at the little, like the green, red, the green, red, and yellow ones. Yeah. Those. And you know how many people love M&M's? I love M&M's. <sighs> the thing is, like, now we can't deliver them because of the trail. Now, if we don't get the trail fixed, we can't make the deliveries. If we can't make the deliveries, we can't get the M&Ms to the people. And when we don't get the M&Ms to the people, they're going to get mad at us. And when they get mad at us, they're going to yell at us. And then they're going to yell at us, they're going to yell at me primarily. And now I'm going to pass up because the <laughs> now I can't. Okay. Uh, Cam? Are you okay, uh, bud? Cam? I kind of passed out. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, just, it's just so stressful. I mean, I'll say. It may take a little while, but the track is going to get fixed. Don't worry. Look at all these friends that are here. No one's mad at you. I'm not mad at you, even though I do like M&Ms. <laughs> um, it's, just, it's, not, it's not worth it. Like, it's just like, this is not all worth it. It's just hopeless. Like, maybe I should just like, give up. I'm like, who needs M&Ms anyways? You know? Come on, man. Don't lose hope. Why? Because Jesus' power gives us hope. Think about driving your train. Go. Go to your happy place. Think about driving your train. Close your eyes. Okay. You're driving your train down the vast rocky mountains. You see a family of rabbits. Go, wave at the rabbits. Hi, rabbits. Yeah. You see some hawks flying by. You see the clouds. And then you go choo-choo. Choo-choo. And then you drive into a tunnel. Now it's going to get dark. It's going to get a little bit scary, but don't Ah. get scared. Don't get scared. And now look, you see the light. Go towards the light. Go towards the light at the end of the tunnel and open your eyes. That one right there? That one right there. It's right there. You see that light? Yeah. That light is just like Jesus. Jesus is the hope. Jesus' power gives us hope. And with him, you will have hope. You know, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. That does make sense. Maybe like I have hope. Maybe I should just like take a chill pill and just like, yeah. just like, just relax. Cause I mean, we, we just need like, just to relax. Cause like, well, all the rocks and stuff like, Hey, yo, yeah, no, no, the m ms not not for you. No, 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 that's not for you. Wait. I guess Cam's crew got a little bit hungry. Those m ms are not safe. I know if I were there, I'd be eating them too. Anyway, you know, I wonder, 
What amazing Bible memory, buddy, we're going to learn about today. Let's find out. Let's check it out, guys. Me da gusto que estés de vuelta en la vía de ferrocarril rocoso. ¡Wow! El primer día voló, ¿verdad? Soy Eva, un halcón con la roja. Puedes encontrarme a mí y a mi familia por todas partes de América del Norte. ¡Estamos por todos lados! Aunque vivimos por toda América del Norte, es posible que no me veas en tu jardín. Bueno, al menos que no tengas ningún vecino. Nos gusta vivir en lugares amplios y abiertos, donde podemos volar sobre las copas de los árboles, pasto y agua, buscando comida. Puedes decir que los halcones cola roja son fieles amigos. Cuando encontramos pareja, nos quedamos juntos toda la vida. Mi amigo Emplumado y yo construimos nuestro nido y cuidamos a nuestros pollitos juntos. ¡Somos un buen equipo! Soy muy feliz en lo más alto del cielo, por eso construyo mi nido en el lugar más alto que puedo encontrar. Algunos nidos de halcón han sido vistos tan alto como 120 pies del suelo. Eso es igual a una torre humana de 20 líderes de tropa altos. Mi nido puede estar en la punta de un árbol, incluso en el techo de un edificio o un poste de teléfono. Eso me da una vista panorámica de lo que está alrededor, comida, amigos o animales que quieren lastimarnos. ¡Ah! Me encanta elevarme con mis largas y hermosas alas que miden más de 3 pies de ancho. Dios me dio lo que necesitaba para atrapar el viento y solo volar. Desde aquí ves las cosas de manera diferente. Cosas que parecían grandes parecen pequeñas. Cosas que parecen difíciles se ven más fáciles. Un camino que parecía sin salida. ¡Ey! ¡Puedo ver una salida! Una perspectiva nueva puede poner el viento bajo tus alas y darte la fuerza para seguir. A veces... Puedo verlos con mis agudos ojos de halcón y se ven un poco desanimados. ¿Parece que las cosas son imposibles? ¿Temibles? ¿Sin esperanza? Puede ser que necesites una perspectiva nueva. Puede ser que necesitas ver las cosas como Jesús las ve, con esperanza. Jesús es más fuerte que cualquier cosa. Él tiene un plan para todo. Puedes tener fuerza, valentía y esperanza. La Biblia nos anima con estas palabras. Así que sean fuertes y valientes, ustedes los que ponen su esperanza en el Señor. El poder de Jesús nos da esperanza. Así que confía en Jesús. What a cool Bible memory, buddy. Remember, Ava is going to remind us that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. All right, so now, before we head on to our next station, I want to invite two very special people to come up here and pray for you guys. Marielle and Padre Jansen, can you please come up here and pray for these wonderful children? They're going to pray for you guys and then explain what we're going to do next. Let's have them come up here. They're running, they're running, they're running, and they're coming. Try again, try again. Okay. Hello, everybody. Buenos días. Good morning. ¿Cuántos están durmiendo o están despiertos? Qué bueno que están aquí con nosotros. Bienvenido. Welcome with us. Eh, quiero, quiero hacer una oración para cada uno de ustedes. Padre eterno, te ruego que bendigas cada uno de nuestros niños que están conectados en esta hora, que traigas bendición y paz sobre sus vidas. En Cristo Jesús, amén. Say amén, amén. Welcome back to our second day in our VBS. Thank you for being here. Gracias por regresar, por estar aquí con nosotros en este nuestro segundo día. Así que recuerden, cada vez que escuchen la palabra, Jesus power give us hope, you say, trust Jesus. Bien, bien alto, bien, very, very loud, ¿ok? Again, Jesus power give us hope, trust Jesus. Ahora vamos a ver 
¿Qué nos trae nuestro Bible Adventure? Check it out. Hey guys, it's Miss Maria. Today we're going to have a Bible story from the book of Acts chapter 27. Today's totally true story comes from the Bible and may get your feet a little wet as we discover how Jesus' power gives us hope. Say it with me, trust Jesus! Speaking of hope, I hope we don't run into any problems today. Nos subiremos a un barco y yo siempre me pongo un, po un poco mareada cuando estoy en el mar abierto. We'll get on a ship and I always get a little seasick out on the open sea. No one should stand close to me. That could be a huge mistake. I hope the weather calms down so we can have smooth sailing. Oh look, I see some boxes. I see some boxes where you are. Let's walk if we were on a plank hauling boxes into the ship so we can get this thing going. Let's go grab, go grab some couch cushions. Okay, keep your balance. Oh, these may be a little heavy. Keep your balance. Let's get these cargo in the ship. Okay, I'm gonna get this ship going. Oh, look, what's this? Oh, let me see. Uh-oh, listen to this, guys. Dear Maria, I'm feeling a little green around the gills today, so I won't be able to sail the ship. But you used to sail, so you'll be in charge. Have a fun voyage, and thanks for your help, the captain. Oh, no, guys. It's been a while since I sailed a ship, but it'll come back to me. Sort of like riding a bike, right? Except wetter and with no wheels. Okay, let me try to get the ship going. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this all ready. Okay, let's get the sails up. Okay, I'm gonna clean this deck. It's so dirty over here. Okay, I'm gonna get this anchor up so we can go on and sail. Okay, fire up the engines. Oh yeah, that's right, it's Bible times. There are no engines. We'll have to get power some other, some other way. What should we do? Do you have an idea? Hmm. Ah, wind. What a great idea, but there isn't any. Pues, bueno, estamos atascados hasta que suba el viento. Oh, well, I guess I'm stuck here until the wind comes up. Might as well sit down. I'm powerless to do anything. Hey, while I'm waiting, let's talk about something. Tell me about something you'd like to change in your life, but you feel powerless to do anything about it. You can tell your crew later when you meet with them. As for me, I feel powerless with, about what the world is going through right now with this virus. There's nothing we can do but wait until it passes, and that makes me feel powerless. How about you? Maybe there's a bully in your life you wish would go away, or a broken friendship you don't know how to fix. Let's create some, sh some, some wind so we can get the ship going. Can you help me from where you are? Start blowing or fan yourselves. It's no fun to feel powerless. It feels hopeless. Te sientes sin esperanza. But today we're learning about a new kind of power, the power of Jesus. And Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Hey, I, I feel some wind. Let's go. Uh, should be an easy trip, unless the prisoner down there chained up is right. He said our ship would sink, the cargo would float off, and we shouldn't be sailing today. But... He's not a sailor, so let's not pay attention to him. His name is Paul, and from what I hear, he's a Christian who got in trouble because he keeps telling people about Jesus after God changed his heart from hating Jesus' follower to being a Jesus' follower. The emperor of Rome doesn't want people following Jesus because the emperor wants people to follow him. But Paul kept talking, and now he's off to Rome to stand trial in front of the emperor. I wouldn't want to be in Paul's sandals. I heard some of you might be Christians too. If you don't mind, here's a question for you. Si pudieras decirle a una persona que conoce a Jesús algo sobre Jesús, 
¿Qué le dirías? If you talk about Jesus, you probably won't get chained up and stuck in the bottom of a ship like prisoner Paul down there. <sighs> Whoa. I felt something. Uh-oh. There it is again. Guess that's rain I'm feeling. I'll go check below and check the charts in case we're heading into bad weather. I'll check on Paul while I'm down there too. Give me a second, guys. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, Paul, are you okay? Yeah. Go, okay, yeah. <sighs> bad news. Malas noticias. Down below, there's water slushing around. That means we're heading into rough seas. I hope that Paul guy wasn't right about what's coming our way. Things could get rough, really rough. Can you feel it? The wind's kicking up. Oh no, this storm just won't stop. I've been going on for days, it's hopeless. Time to lighten up the ship, tossing some cargo. Let's throw some boxes out. Oh. I'm gonna go check if Paul is okay. Give me a second. Paul said we should eat. We're gonna need our strength. He had these sea biscuits, he gave them to me. Everyone go grab a little bit of crackers. Gain some strength. I'm gonna go talk to Paul real quick. Yeah. Oh no, okay, yeah. Good news and bad news, bad news. Paul says the ship's going down. Good news, none of us will drown. Paul says Jesus will take care of us all. And is that the shore over there? I can't see much through this rain. We'll try for the shore, but I have a tough decision to make. In situations like this, I'm supposed to kill the prisoner so he won't get away. But Paul gave us food and says his friend Jesus will take care of us. So maybe I should let him live. Okay, I'll let him go. You down below, unchain the prisoner. Okay, uh, now I have to go jump overboard. This storm is getting so much worse. The ship's breaking apart. I'm gonna have to jump overboard. One, two, three. Oh man, my heart is racing. Okay, let me sit, let me sit for a second. Oh, imagine being on that ship as it splintered under you and you dropped into huge waves crashing against the shore, light flashing, wind howling. It must have been awful. It was. But Paul was right. Pablo tenía razón. Ni una persona de este barco se perdió. Not one person on the ship was lost. Trusting in Jesus gave them hope in the shipwreck situation. Now, I want you guys to get out your Tracking with Jesus Bible book and look at the expression on the faces of the disciples on page 14. Talk about a time where you looked like that. When have you felt afraid? And what ways did Jesus' power give you hope? You don't have to share if you don't want to. Just think about it or share with whoever is there with you. I know that my friendship with Jesus powers up the hope I have for this virus to end soon. I'm so glad I know Jesus. And I know that praying about my situation, talking with God about it, is helpful. Today's Bible verse comes from Psalm 31:24. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. I hope you guys pray with your crew leaders today that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back to BBS on your second day. And welcome back to your second day of Imagination Station. So if you remember, or for those who don't remember, my name is Catherine, and I will lead you through today's activity. Today we're discovering that Jesus' powers keep us hope. Trust Jesus. I don't know about you, but I really need to hope that Jesus gave us. 
Today's science phone gizmo kind of reminds me of bubbles. Do you guys like blowing bubbles in the summer? I love bubbles. But trust me, this is way more fun. So to, to start today's activity, please take out of your backpack today's supplies. Today's supplies look like this. It's like a flute, two bowls, a bowl holder, and please, if you don't have one in your hand, please go around really quick. Like, I give you 10 seconds to go grab a pen, a pencil, or a marker. So to start today's activity, well, let me wait for you. I, I promise I'll give you 10 seconds. Are you guys ready? Do you have your pen or your pencil or your marker? You do? OK. So to start today's activity, let's have a little bit of, a little bit of fun first. So we had these two bowls, right? And I'm in a very creative mode today. Mode today. So I'm going to draw a happy face in my one of my bowls. See that, how happy that looks? Yay! So these bowls can represent a family member, you, your, your sister, your brother, a very good friend, you know, and one should represent you. So I'm gonna write another happy face. I'll make it girly by adding some eyelashes, you know. See, how fun that looks. So for today's activity, we're gonna grab the ball holder I'm going to grab the flute. I'm going to put the, bar, the ball holder in the flute. We're going to put it like this, OK? It should go at the same direction as the flute. Not like this, OK? Let's not do it like this, because if you guys do it like this, it won't work. So I'm going to do it like this. Does yours look like this now? OK. So are you guys wondering what? this does what what's was the name so this little thing it's called a hope and hover do you guys know what hover is what hovering means it's like floating so this makes something to float but we don't know what it is yet right or are you guys trying to guess what it floats so you guys with your marking can draw a little things around your flute, it's yours, make your own designs, have fun. So what this does, I'm going to try with one ball first. I'm going to put one ball in here, you know, my little friend, my little smiley friend. And we're going to ball, we're going to blow through the flute. Do you see the ball floating? It's fun, huh? I'm going to put me. Let's say this is me, OK? And this is my little uh, smiley friend. I'm going to blow through the flute. And you can see both of them floating. Oops. <laughs> let's, let's try it again. <laughs> it's fun, uh huh? So what does this represent? What makes the balls lift? is the air that we're blowing through the flute. We can say that air is the hope that we give Jesus. And the balls is us, and we're getting lifted up because Jesus' power gives us hope. That's right, trust Jesus. Sometimes we are up, and we're, sometimes we're down. The hope Jesus gives us can always lift us. As we can share the hope we have in Jesus with our friends and family members, so they, they can be lifted as well by the hope that Jesus gives us. So as you know, the air, the balls is us, and the air is the hope. So Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Well, guys, this is today's demonstration. I hope you're having fun with your hope and hover, and I hope you have so much fun after this. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>
Hey guys, como están? Welcome to Locomotion Game Station Day 2. For today's game, we're going to need a lot of pennies, as many pennies as you can find. Because remember, Jesus' power gives us hope. So I hope you're ready for today's game. Para el juego de hoy, lo que vamos a hacer es, vamos a agarrar los pennies y vamos a hacer una torre de pennies. Okay? Quiero ver quién hace la torre más grande de pennies. Se las va a dar un minuto, 60 seconds, para ver quién hace la torre más grande. Entonces, les voy a enseñar cómo. Un penny a la vez con una mano van a ir haciendo su torre con calma para que no se les caiga. Porque si se les cae por accidente, deben que empezar otra vez de nuevo, ¿ok? Entonces, empiezan y siguen con calma para que no se les caiga su torre, ¿ok? Se les va a dar un minuto. Si están listos, se les van a comenzar en 3, 2, 1, vamos. Welcome back to KidVid Cinema. My name is Melody, and I'll be with you guys today. I'm so excited to show you another story about a kid just like you. Today, we will get to see a story about a girl named Anna Liz, who plays a really surprising instrument. Now, quick question before we get to that. If you could play any instrument in the world, what would it be? Let's see. Who wants to play the piano? Anyone? Ooh, guitar. Guitar. How about electric guitar? Yeah. Oh, I know. Drums. Percussion, anyone? Uh, those are all great instruments, and there's more to choose from. I wish I could play those. And if you are currently learning an instrument, keep at it. I believe in you. Today, we're discussing that Jesus' power gives us hope. I'm curious to see what the story of Annalise has to do with hope. Are you guys curious? Well, let's watch and find out. My name is Annalise, and I'm 11 years old. Annalise is a singer and accordion player. I started playing the accordion at the age of 8 years old. She plays a style of traditional Mexican music called Norteño. I love making music because I feel happy when I make music. I feel like I'm like more closer to God because I sing for Him and I play for Him. When she's not playing music, Annalise loves playing basketball with her brothers and taking care of all the animals on the ranch in Arizona where she lives. On our ranch we have horses, pigs, chickens, and goats. My horse's name is Frosty. He's a really nice horse. Sometimes he's really sleepy. He doesn't like to walk. I don't think he sleeps in the night or something, but he's really tired. Annalise didn't know when she started playing music years ago 
that it would end up being so helpful in bringing hope to her and her grandmother when they went through a hard time. So my grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017. As her grandma fought cancer, Annalise and her accordion constantly kept her grandma's spirits up and helped her to keep fighting. Uh, when I prayed my accordion to my grandma, I would be happy because I would see her happy. She would smile, be like really happy, and my grandpa as well, he would be happy too. I usually play um, one of her favorite songs, which is Let's Praise the Lord, and she loved that song. Annalise sings that song for us. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. He is wonderful, marvelous. Lord of lords, kings of kings. Annalise and her grandma held on to hope in Jesus, even though times were hard. What brought me hope was that I would always see her pray. Like in my like opinion, I would be sad when I would see her like drink all those medicines that she would have to drink. But I knew she had hope that God would make a miracle in her. After lots of praying and trusting in Jesus' power, Annalise's grandmother got better. God healed her from cancer. <laughs> Jesus' power gives us hope means to me like Jesus has love for us. Jesus has the power for us to have hope in him. In the Bible, in the book of Psalms, chapter 31, verse 24, it says, So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. God's always with you. God loves you. God's here for you. God loves everyone equally. He would love you too. Annalise learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. Wow, I love this story. You know, music is an amazing thing. It can make us happy when we're feeling sad. It can calm us down when we're upset. And it can literally change how we think and feel. Jesus' power helped Annalise bring hope to her grandmother. Es increíble como Jesús pone personas en nuestras vidas para confortarnos y darnos esperanza. Con Jesús, todo es posible. Jesus' power gives us hope. I love that you are willing to use the, God, the talents God gave you to bring hope to others. Way to go. Today's Bible verse, let me get my Bible real quick. Today's Bible verse can help bring hope to someone, and it could also help you when you are the ones in need of hope. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> Today's verse is a really powerful one. Let's see what the Bible says. In the book of Psalms, chapter 31, verse 24 says, So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. What a great verse. Jesus' power will help us be strong and courageous. Today, todos necesitamos a Jesús. Now, I want you to take Ava, your Bible memory buddy from your student packs, and just like Ava's wings, take her high where she has a new perspective. Hope gives us a fresh perspective too. Let me put this down. Okay. Me encanta que el poder de Jesús pueda darnos fuerza y valentía para llevar esperanza a alguien más, igual como Annalise trajo esperanza a su abuelita. And Jesus' power can help us when we are the ones that need hope. Jesus' power gives us hope. Now let's thank Jesus for his power and hope. As I do the closing prayer, I want you to take Ava in your outstretched wings like so. Dear Lord, Please give us the strength and courage to bring hope to others. And thank you for letting us put our hope in you. Thank you for always loving us. Thank you for giving us hope when we need it. Please always help us put our hope in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys for coming to today's BBS. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>
Welcome back, everybody, to Rocky Wrap Up. To start off Rocky Wrap Up, we're going to start it off just the same way we do sing and play. So, you guys know the drill. Everybody stand up. We're going to sing our theme song. Everybody stand up. Let's go, let's go. Everybody get loose. We're going to invite the dancers back up here. And y'all ready? Let's go. Necesitamos tu poder nos sostendrá Confiamos en ti, confiamos en ti Tan solo tú nos das vida eterna Nos das valor y unión verdadera Tu poder nos sostendrá Confiamos en ti, confiamos en ti El viaje ha empezado y no hay Seguro estás oh, 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 oh. Un nuevo paisaje puedes contemplar Y más adelante sorpresas habrá oh, oh, oh. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Today, we discover, with our help from Ava, our red-tailed hawk, that Jesus' power help gives us hope. Trust Jesus. And remember, every time you see Ava, I want you to remember that to always have hope in your hearts, because hope is what's going to get us through life. Now, can I have a drum roll, please? Everybody, get, get your kits, and let's take out Ava, our red-tailed hawk, and make sure to get yesterday's buddy with, that's already on your keychain. If you have not already, pop Ava out so we can put her on the keychain. Just like this. Be careful. Please don't break it. And there's a hole like last time. Make sure to put it on the keychain. And voila, we have Ramsey and Ava. That's two out of five. You guys are still missing three buddies, but you have to wait until the end of the week to get all five. So now we have a very special message from a very special person that some of you guys may know. 
So I'm going to let you guys listen to him and see what he has to say. Hello, all kids and everyone going to San Mateo's Vacation Bible School. I'm the Reverend Ed Gomez, I'm the vicar of San Pablo, St. Paul's Episcopal Church. One of the things that I hope that you take away from this whole week of Vacation Bible School is that Jesus is with you. Jesus is the one that gives us the strength that we need to go on and do all the things that we know we need to do, but sometimes we don't feel like it. I know some of you may be bored and going crazy, and I hope during this time of Vacation Bible School that you really, really get close to Jesus and get that strength to have fun, to learn more about God and about the Bible and about one another and yourself. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you always and forever. Amen. Hola, yo soy el Padre Ed Gómez de la Iglesia Episcopal de San Pablo. Hola y saludos a todos los muchachos que están en la Escuela Bíblica de Verano, ahí en San Mateo. Felicito a todos los hermanos que están trabajando con ustedes para dejarles saber un mensaje que necesitamos tanto hoy en día. Es que Jesús es nuestra fuerza. Él es el que nos da esas ganas, esos deseos. Yo sé que quizás algunos estén aburridos durante toda esta cosa de coronavirus, no pueden salir, no se pueden jugar con los amigos. Pero cuando te sientas un poco tumbado o debajo, asegúrate que Jesús está contigo y que Él es tu fuerza y tu salvación. Así que durante esta semana que la pasen bien, que lo disfruten, que conozcan más a la Biblia, que se encuentre más con Jesús, con el prójimo, con sus amigos y contigo mismo. Que Dios te bendiga y te guarde, que deje que su rostro se mostre y brille sobre ti. Adiós. Saludos. Bye. You know, I'm pretty excited. And not just because we're in VBS, but because last night I read that there could be some buried treasure here. Now, I woke up early this morning, I started digging, and I pulled out some sand. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to see if I can find some buried treasure, some gold in here. So, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to look. You guys just, you know, entertain yourselves. Thank you. Um, what are you doing? Oh, so uh, last night, oh yeah, I didn't tell you. That's right, that's right. Last night, I read that there was buried treasure here. So, I'm looking. Do you mind uh, entertaining the kids while I look? Thank you. There's n you're not going to find anything in there, Tony. Very treasure is just a myth. No, it's not, because I have hope, and I know that I'm going to find treasure and gold in here. Okay. You guys are on my side, right? I'm going to find gold in here. Watch. <gasps> Celeste! Come here, come here, come here. Look, 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 come here, come here. What? What? Look. <gasps> Whoa, you found gold. See, with hope, you can do anything. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good job. See, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just that good, guys. No. With hope, even the hardest things, even the things that seem impossible, you, you can do it. And, but the only way you can do that is with Jesus' help. Why? Because Jesus' power gives you hope. Trust Jesus. Okay, so now, just like yesterday, we, got, we are going to split you up into crews. So, but this time, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Think about this for a sec. God helps us get through hard things by giving us hope, right? You, so, like I said, you guys are about to break off into your crews. As we break you out, remember to think about what hope means to you. And now yesterday, I know you guys got super excited. You guys met your crew leaders. But today, we're going to do something a little bit differently. Maybe not everyone is going to be with the same crew leader. So just look out for that, okay? So now, we're going to count you down, and you guys are going to go into crew time. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Bye, guys.
Is everyone back? Yes, everyone's back? All right, because I was about to start dancing. Good, good thing you guys are back. All right, so I hope everybody had a great time. And I hope everybody had a good crew time. You guys were able to talk with your crew leaders. So now, before we end the day, we're going to end it with a song, okay? But before we start the song, I just want to remind you guys that God helps us get through hard things by giving us hope, right? That's what we've been talking about all day. Yesterday, we learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Sorry, I forgot for a second. Today, we learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. And then tomorrow, you guys are going to learn that. Oh, uh, no, I'll just tell you guys tomorrow. All right. So right now, before we close, we are going to sing one more song. So I need everybody to stand up. Everybody stand up, stand up. We're going to get loose. We're going to learn a new song that you guys are going to like. It's one of my favorite songs out of all the songs we're going to sing here at VBS. So, yeah, everybody get ready to dance, and let's go. God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand. Give me faith and I will put my hope in you alone, in you alone. God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand. You give me faith and guys that was great that was that's my favorite song out of all the songs that you guys are going to be singing this week all right well sadly this is rocky wrap up as we know rocky wrap up is the last station of the day and i hope you guys have had fun today i hope you guys had fun yesterday i saw a lot of y'all's pictures i saw a lot of your parents were texting us saying that you guys had fun that makes me so happy and then today, I hope you also had fun. I hope your parents keep sending us pictures of you guys doing all the cool activities. So, padres, por favor, asegúrense que nos estén mandando fotos al email. Y, and yeah. So from here, from San Mateo Episcopal Church, I want to wish everyone a blessed day. And before I leave, don't forget because that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. All right, bye, guys. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.